to define that program you want to go and study, they might ask you, why did you choose that particular university and do you should list some courses that you are going to be studying within the first semester of that program. So you should know this. They might hey, beautiful people. Welcome back to our channel and thank you so much for joining the channel today. So guys, if you are new here, please do not forget to subscribe and share the video because this video is a very rich video and the video is going to be talking about how you can migrate to Poland as an international student yes i know many of my followers do not have access to poland when i say do not have access to poland i am talking about the fact that appointments at the level of the embassy is so difficult to get but does that mean that we are going to remain mute because some people are not getting appointments no some other people are still getting even from nigeria as i'm talking to you now i know someone who recently moved to poland but i don't know how the system is operating so why i am here is because i want to give you updates on how you can migrate from africa nigeria kenya morocco ghana or even wheresoever you are if you are watching this video know that you can move to poland as an international student and there are certain things i noticed that many students do not know and i'm going to drop this video it may be long but it is going to be very important trust me if you are new my name is milton thank you so much for joining our platform today and if you need a one-on-one -on -one call with me please book from the video description box any link that is useful i will drop it in the video description box yes thank you so in case you want to know how you can move from maybe nigeria to poland ghana to poland cameroon to poland or any other african country to poland then i'm going to break it down in this video and we will start first of all with the first thing that you need to do get admissions to polish universities now if you are an old follower of this platform you would understand that i have been making a lot of videos or i have done many videos about studies in poland or some of the things that you need to study in poland in the past and i will make it again i want to briefly introduce you again the first thing you need to do to study in poland is to apply to a university in poland that offer the course you want to study that's the very first thing examples of universities include medical university of Gdansk, where you can study a medical program schools like say university you equally have schools like warsaw university of technology the university of warsaw the university of opole whbc university i have talked about many of them now before you even apply to these schools understand that Poland is a country in the European Union where it is easy for you to navigate through the Schengen zone or the EU and in general now also understand that if you are applying to say university you are going to pay an application fee maybe it is called an administrative fee of 150 euros the legalized documents but most other universities in poland will ask you to submit legalized documents thus you have to go through authentication and legalization to submit those documents but those of you who do not want to do that or the, the procedure is so daunting you can apply to wsei university it's called i pronounce it say university it will ask you 150 euros for something and equally they will ask you for an english proficiency in this case you can show them your ielts or you can show them duolingo exam this is all they will ask you but for university uh, warsaw university of technology they are going to ask you a lot the legalized documents they will equally give you an entrance exam to write okay they will ask you maybe for other documentation take medical university of Gdansk. with this school it is a very easy school to enter and i'm going to give you some few details you need to know about this particular university in Gdansk. also understand that there is a school called the university of opole with the uh, university of opole you just have a little token to pay for application fee but you are going to maybe apply using your legalized documents okay i think the application fee is uh, 21 euros that's 85 police loyalty so and they have a lot of uh, science and arts courses as well then if you are looking at uh, the university medical university on gindans understand that they will also ask you to send your documents to them 
using the career service that's their diploma and you must apostle them and legalize them as well and a financial obligatory document and also a copy of your health insurance so this is how polish universities work i have a lot of videos on here you can just type study in poland you add milton from quarter to eight on the search bar you are going to get all those details now remember that when you get admissions in all these universities or in any of these university they may not give you an offer letter until you have paid part of your tuition there is something called tuition deposit you need to pay it not admissions letter or administrative deposit before the school can give you your offer letter administrative deposit sometimes is refundable in case visa is rejected some programs sometimes do not refund it so you just need to know these differences now you have gotten admissions that's the first thing you first of all need to fight to get admissions it's very important after you've gotten admissions the next thing now you need to do is to gather the documents for visa application now let's start by looking at the documents that you are going to submit to the embassy the very first one is a copy of your international passport i will always re 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 emphasize that you should get um, your passport to be at least for the duration of your program like if you are studying a four years program you shouldn't use a passport that is below four years if your passport is only left two years they cannot give you for four years you understand so you have to be careful then the other document you need is a statement of purpose and remember on your statement of purpose you have to make it very clear how much is your tuition fee how much you have paid why are you applying to poland why did you choose that particular program and stuff like that they are very important then you also tell them your reason right why are you applying for maybe or oh, your temporary stay reasons why you are going to return to your home country why you choose the school why you choose the program and who is going to be a sponsor in stuff like this you should mention them on your uh, statement of purpose it's very important and this statement of purpose try to notarize it because when you notarize it poland is a country that likes documents they like notarization that's why if you check even my videos you are going to see that most of the videos i did most of the schools are asking for notarized documents i hope you this is understood please put it into consideration then the next document you need to get is accommodation document you can get it in school but most schools you may not get it there you might only have to go for private accommodation but try to get accommodation for at least one year it's very important and even pay the first month so that you use the receipt of payment and also as evidence for your visa because when you pay you are directly telling the visa official that you are serious it's very important so please put this into consideration then equally you need what we call a sponsorship letter in case you are being sponsored and remember this sponsorship letter should also be notarized and put everything on it you can write it for your sponsor you can equally write it for yourself if you have someone sponsoring you and they cannot write you should write it for them why are they sponsoring you and stuff like that you understand how much they will be taking care of your school and everything when it comes to finance since they are the one to sponsor you explain all those details on the sponsorship letter then there is another one called sponsor affidavit or sponsorship this one has to be uh that's affidavit or sponsorship is different from sponsorship letter right this affidavit is going to come from the court to say that this person i hope you get so please put all of this together it has to come from the court not all the documents are coming from the court but things that are coming from the court i will specify here so get that as well then if you have a way if these people they are not related to you or if they are related to you get an affidavit of relationship remember i said poland it's a country that needs documents. They love documents. So give them the documents they want. This is something I noticed early this year because some people will get rejected because of one or two documents. But when you go with a notarized document or some others, when they go with notarized documents, they easily get access into Poland. So just make sure you arrange your documents properly, especially if you are not uh, spending or maybe if you are not funding yourself. Then you also have affidavit of temporary stay. This is not very necessary, but I will encourage you to get it. What is the affidavit? It is just a document to show that you are going to return back to your home country. You have signed that. You will return back to your home country after your study program is over. So that is the document I'm talking about, uh, affidavit of temporary stay. Remember, all these affidavits, they are coming from the high court. Okay, if you are Nigerian, they will come from the high court anywhere you are just make sure you go to the high court and get them 
I hope you understand. Then also, you need passport size photograph, maybe one or two, but I'll advise you to go with two. Check the Polish Embassy's website. I think the size dimension is 3.5 by 4.5, something like that. I can't remember. But again, check to see what you are going to get. Then you also need uh, insurance for the duration of your stay that's now some people will get it for the duration of their stay some will get it for maybe one year but when you are buying your insurance follow what is written on the embassy's website but i'll advise you to personally get it for the duration of your program so that you don't get any reasons to be complicated remember insurance sometimes you are not buying insurance because you want to buy you are buying because you are asked to buy so please put all these things into consideration and always remember that the schengen insurance for schengen visa is different from the study insurance but you can use the same insurance company to buy and it doesn't mean that if you are going to for the Schengen visa, you have to show all that amount, that 30,000 euros. So many people are aware of this 30,000 euros, but some people may not be aware. But just know that it's just just go to an insurance company and tell them that I need an insurance for one year. I need it for two years. Is it travel insurance for story purpose? A good company. Don't go to these backyard insurance companies because they might give you fake documents. And at the end of the day, you go and land yourself into problems. Then the next thing is flight reservation you can reserve your flight with any uh, flight agency you know maybe turkish airline maybe ethiopian airline maybe air maroc whichever one is good for you but don't pay it's just a reservation okay because they just want to see if actually you've gotten it and remember i will advise you to get a lay and retour flight okay but when you finally get your visa and you're about to move tell the agency that you will not come back and you will need a refund especially turkish airline they will tell you what to do and they will give you a refund this is something they did for me some years ago so they will definitely do it for you. the other document that you may need to add to this uh, list of requirements is your insurance and flight i want you to pay attention to this insurance and flight remember you are booking an insurance let's assume that if you are booking an insurance from the 18 okay from booking an insurance from the 18 okay from the 18 of maybe june then make sure that the flight you are booking should also begin from the 18 of june your insurance and your flight should have the same date that is why i'm emphasizing on this or i'm trying to say this so that you can understand then the other document if you are coming from nigeria should be your name uh, number then you also have your testimonial for those of you who are going for bachelor's degree try to get your testimonial then those from cameroon or other nationalities try to get your high school complete high school documents o levels a levels all complete okay if possible with your slips cameroonians i know most of us we always collect our certificate and throw away our still have my slips though i left high school in 2011 this is fact so if you throw away your sleep and later on you start crying then don't blame anybody then you also add your transcripts also add your birth certificate also add eligibility letter from the ministry of education for nigerians then also add your eight results or english proficiency if you do have it remember if you have um, your bachelor's degree certificate and uh, the transcript you need to go with them authenticate them and legalize them but legalization can be done on the same day you are going for your visa appointment like i said people are still moving to poland i keep saying this but i don't know how appointment is gone it looks like there is some technicality which i don't really understand so if you can get yours then use it immediately and move then um, on the other hand you also need to add a medical certificate let me reiterate here a medical certificate do it from uh, a state recognized hospital because most of the time they want it only from the state hospital so please do yours there then your admissions letter should also be among the documents for visa application then remember when you gain admissions to a polish university there is usually a document that is accompanied with your admissions letter that document is strictly in polish okay also add that document some people get it only after paying the deposit to the school but no matter what time attach that document it's usually written in polish attach it to your admissions it starts with zw something like that all in capital in fact just attach all documents sent to you by the university then also your tuition fee payment receipt add it to your 
documents, then your bank statement should be for six months, the past six months. Some people will be asked to send bank statement for the past three months, but I will encourage you to get a bank statement for the past six months. It's so important. Now, for this bank statement, it also depends on where you are going to. Some people are going to cities that are expensive, like maybe Warsaw, um, Poznan, Gindans, Lusk, right? So if you are going to a cheaper city, your money in your bank statement is not going to be enough. But if you are going to a more expensive city like any of these, make sure the money is enough. Now, if you check my videos on proof of funds to study in Poland, I've always emphasized that no matter what, try to get at least 6 million CFA francs or Naira in your bank account. That was when the Naira was good. Not now that everything has crashed. So if you are looking at the 6 million now, it should be for Cameroon money after you've paid your tuition deposit and uh, then you are only going to pay again maybe probably after one semester okay just get enough money into your bank account or oh, check that video i did about proof of funds and follow up from there it's so important so need a copy of your bank reference letter or oh, um there is something i don't know what this document that uba usually give people that have account i think it should be reference letter right yes get that document as well if you are being sponsored get your sponsor to get it then if you are being sponsored get your sponsor's id card passport add them together pay slips if they are working employment letters if they are working right all those things just bring all those documents and attach them like i said do poland wants to see documents so you have to be careful of what you are doing but if you are not being sponsored if you are sponsoring yourself also bring evidence to show how you are getting your money do you own a company do you work do you have pay slips do you have employment contract all those things add them now also remember that there is uh if you uh you have to do legalization as well now the legalization cost is 30 euros and of course visa fee is 60 euros you may go when it has changed things are changing so if you go when things have changed do not blame anybody but this is the fee for now i'm just giving you all of this there are a lot of videos i have done about poland i will encourage you to check those videos so that you know what you are actually going to be doing i always tell people that embassies will want to know if you are going to return back home embassies will ask you questions some embassies will not ask you any question but others will ask you questions now in the case you find yourself at the polish embassy and they are about to ask you question be ready that these are some of the questions they will ask you they might ask for your age they might ask for the name of your school they might ask you why you decided to select that particular program you want to go and study they might ask you to define that program you want to go and study they might ask you why did you choose that particular university and do you should list some courses that you are going to be studying within the first semester of that program so you should know this they might ask you how you saw the university did anybody recommend that university to you they might ask you to name other universities in the country in poland they might even ask you what was the name of the minister or the president of poland you have to note all of these things they might even ask you why did you decided to go to poland and not us or, or canada or uk or australia so you have to be ready then they might even ask you who is your sponsor even if they don't ask you no this thing who is your sponsor his name where he's working know more about your accommodation because i'm very convinced that these are some of the things that will come up can often ask these type of questions right not like they will ask you but you have to explain all these things on your letter of explanation right so this is the info that you need now guys this is all about the video make sure you apply to a school some schools are still open as i speak to you medical university of Gindans is going to close by july 15 there is still time there are many universities that are still open in poland so you can apply and let's see how it goes if you think appointment is going to be easy for you i hope this helps you till we meet again in another one bye bye